make of the recent claims about Tyson Fury? Um, I think, you know, as I understand, it's going to be looked into by UCAD. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to make too many comments about it. I guess the, the, the truth will come out in the wash. Um, as I understand it, the key witness in, in the case has come out and effectively changed his, his statements of, of what happened. I'll let them deal with that. I mean, you know, if I'm Dillian White right now, I'm looking at that situation knowing that if there was an issue with Tyson Fury uh, as world champion, I'd become the WBC heavyweight world champion because right now he was suspended while an investigation was taking place. So it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Wow. Those are the words of Eddie Hearn. And as Eddie Hearn stated, that Dillian White should become the WBC heavyweight champion if there is an issue with Tyson Fury following fresh claims about his failed drug test in 2015, says promoter Eddie Hearn, of course. And it makes sense. Why? Because it's fair. How is it fair? Because Mauricio Suleiman should have the same energy and he should do the same thing because it's the same situation. Okay? It's the same exact situation as, as far as an issue. There's an issue with UCAD. There was an issue with UCAD with Dillian White, right? Of course, this was a recent or a current, at that time, a current situation or an issue. And they had to be squared off, squared away. Nonetheless, people, we still have to get this issue squared away. So while we do that, should Tyson Fury be suspended also? That's the number one question you ask yourself. You know, with the WBC, I can, like, again, I did a video earlier about uh, you know, where Mauricio stands and what he decided to do versus what he decided to do with Dillian White. And UCAD, the similarities are UCAD have, has an issue based on someone's statements, based on someone that is admitting they lied about a statement Okay, about some boar meat. Okay, so he had it in his system. He tested positive in his system. He had a two-year ban. Okay, he got out of that really because he was he, he relinquished the titles anyway because he was doing coke. Okay, on top of what they found in the system. You know, either one. You know, you ask yourself, well, well, how, well should you be banned for a ban? Uh, would should you be penalized more for a banned substance than a? Um, PED, right? So that's the question you ask yourself. Cocaine's bad for you. <laughs> it's a banned substance. You know, whereas um, the other issue or the other um, substance in his body was for his own benefit, okay? Along with his cousin. But there is an issue that does have to be cleared up, you know? And I can see why a lot of people are pissed off at Mauricio Suleiman because, yeah, that was five years ago. We know that. But there still is an issue, okay, regardless if it was 10 years ago or whatnot, which it would be rather, you know, petty to bring up something 10 years. But, hey, five years, right, it happened, you know. And the thing is, Dillian White is the interim silver champion and remember guys Tyson Fury was the guy that replaced Dillian White when Dillian White was going through his issues okay so it would be only fair if Mauricio would acknowledge Dillian White as that WBC champion and then if when it clears up if it clears up and he's in the clear he has to then fight Dillian White you know Wilder then could fight Dillian White because Dylan White is now the new heavyweight WBC champion, right? If he gets past Dylan White or Dylan White gets past him, they fight Fury. You know, the thing is, again, we have to look at the mental state. We have to look at the stress. We have to look to see if these type of things won't affect Tyson in a, in, in, um, a negative way. Because, of course... You could say that UCAD was a reason for uh, Tyson Fury's downcline, okay, downfall, right? And let's just hope he stays in good spirit during this. But then again, you do have to look at Dillian White. 
how did Dillian White? Dillian White came in the ring fat, so you know he was stressing. Dillian White's probably one of the guys he starts stressing, he probably starts eating bad. You know, he eats when he's happy, he eats when he's sad. <laughs> he's eat, he's, he, he eats when he's mad. You know what I mean? He's, he's just, he looks like a snacker, he eats a lot. That's why he's on the redemption list, right? Because of the way he came in, and he should have came in in better condition, okay? Uh, Marius Wach was a hard fight for him, which he, which Marius Wach was an easy fight for a lot of guys, like Hellenius, guys like that, you know. Um, but still, all in all, Eddie Hearn does have a point, and I see the angle that he's he's um, going. But if I'm Eddie Hearn, I'll be doing that too. You know, you got to sit back and see how everything unfolds. But then what do you do about Tyson Fury? If he has an issue, he should be suspended. Because UCAD has nothing to do with the WBC nor VADA. But Dillian White was crucified, okay? He was made an example of. But we really know why that is. Because Mauricio Suleiman got tired of Dillian White uh, blasting the WBC, saying negative things about the WBC, and he ever came out and said it. You know, we would appreciate him not doing that, right? So as soon as they got something on him, boom. Hey, Tyson Fury, you suspended, and Tyson Fury, we're going to make him mandatory. Okay, fair enough. What goes around comes around, right? All right, Tyson Fury's now having issues. Dill Dillian White has cleared up his mess. So aren't you going to make him that mandatory? Because remember, this was supposed to be a mandatory people, right? If it's a true mandatory, by their own laws, by the own laws, their own laws, Dillian White should be mandatory. He is mandatory, right? It was just pushed back. So what do you do about that? This is the interesting thing I want to know. I want to know what Mauricio Suleiman plans to do, but he's already done it. It looks like He's taking sides or he's just saying, hey, I had nothing to do with that. It wasn't a WBC issue. That was a UCAT issue. You know, but people can get fire hot mad when you're dealing with uh, Dillian White. Okay. See, everything Mauricio Suleiman said, nothing was wrong. It's just what he chose to do and the decisions he decided to make beforehand, which was garbage. Okay. That was a garbage decision to make Tyson Fury a quote-unquote mandatory, knowing that was not it. So you called someone a mandatory just to snatch someone else's opportunity away from them. That's all that was. Okay? How do we prove it? Exactly what he's doing right now. Oh, Tyson Fury, he's still champion. He's still this. He doesn't even have to fight Deontay Wilder. Because Mauricio knows that if he fights someone like Joshua, the money's there. Okay? Again, Tyson Fury's on top of the world right now. So he's marketable again. So this kind of in this, this kind of intervenes with the last video I made about Mauricio Suleiman, but it all comes up to him, you know, but by right Dillian White should be um uh the heavy, the WBC heavyweight champion, okay? Or at least let him fight Deontay Wilder for it. Now they could do that because see, now both of those guys got a loss. Right? See, Al, I believe Al Heyman, this is just my theory. I believe Al Heyman, Mauricio Suleiman, all those guys, they knew, okay, that, oh, you know, that Mayweather blueprint on how you market a fighter, you know, as long as they had that, oh, they had a certain level of protection, okay? And because that, they, know, they knew, okay, well, Dillian White's already lost to Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua's the rival to, De to Deontay Wilder. You know, so as long as that's the case, as long as that's apparent, uh, Dillian White can't get his shot. You know what I mean? So he was always he was always protected in, in or, or prohibited in a way that he could never get a fair shake when it, whenever it came for him getting that fight that he deserved. OK, so they knew that now it doesn't matter because the Mayweather blueprint goes out the window because Deontay Wilder took his first loss. And since he took his first loss, I don't think that he should be protected anymore from someone like Dillian White. So if Deontay Wilder can't fight Tyson Fury, and I know the Wilder fans are going to love that because they don't want to see that ass whooping again. Let's be real. 
he can fight Dillian White to redeem himself, right? And that will take one of those guys off the redemption list. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Eddie Hearn's statements. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunching. Peace.